Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today I will finish up the McDonald's videos. This will be the last one that I plan to do, at least at this moment, at this time. You never know, I could change my mind, but I think this is the last one. It's going to have a little bit of the Valentine's giveaway. We had a Valentine's dinner in uh, at McDonald's um, and the marketing head of marketing thought it was a very good idea and so I was allowed to do that and so what I did and you'll see in the video that there'll be a sign between me and another lady Maggie and it will have this um, celebrate the McDonald's dinner contest winners and these are the people that won and I also gave each of the people well, they, at their table, they got to sit with a, there was a name card on their table. And I did, oh, it was a really fancy to do. I had a dessert menu that I had printed out for them. And I also had the, the menu menu where it had their beverage that they could choose, the appetizer, the entree, and then, of course, the dessert they could choose. Also on their tables, they all had, you'll notice, you'll see in the pictures, but they all had an origami bird that I made. I don't remember how to make them now, but I did make a bunch of, I made a bunch of them. And then there was, and they took theirs home. And I also made, because it was Valentine's Day, I made these cute little Valentine things and inside the card it says, Happy Valentine's Day. And so that's what I did with, with them. And I dressed as a server. You'll see that too. It was really a fun, and they had tablecloths, and they had candles and flowers on their table. And they had, the flowers were in vases like this. This is a really cute vase. It says love bug, and I guess love bug is the only thing, a bunch of hearts. But it's cute. It's got it's it's cute it's just cute okay and um also today i don't know if you have gotten any of these crazy calls but this morning i had just gotten up it was a little a little after six when i got up and up uh, before before eight o'clock that morning this morning i got this crazy phone call and it said hello and i said hello and it said, hello. And I said, hello. And it says, how are you this morning? And I says, it's awfully early to be calling. And he goes, oh, I'm sorry. And it was before eight o'clock in the morning. And he says, I'm calling you about your visa card. And I said, visa card? I says, I don't have a visa card. And he says, well, MasterCard? And I said, I don't have a MasterCard. I'm an old lady. And he goes, you don't sound like an old lady. <laughs> I think it was just buttering me up. But anyways, um, he said, sorry for bothering you, and he hung up. But I have a feeling they were fishing. It was a fisherman of some sort, but not the kind with the line and the reel and the bait. They had bait, yes, but not the right bait. Um, that happened this fishing morning. For fishing for information, yeah. Then on my iPad, I've got text calling, and I'm thinking, how oh, the heck? I got a thing from, but I didn't, I, they left a message, but I don't bother with it because I figure I never gave that number out, so how in the heck would they ever get it unless it's a fishing thing too? And um, it was something about my modem, they're taking it off my bill, which we already had that taken off a long time ago, it's not even on the bill. But that's what that was about. And they left a message about it and saying that they were from Spectrum and it's something about the modem and to call them back. And I thought, not doing it. So. <laughs> I just did a raspberry <laughs> with my lips. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. But anyways, I, I'm going to do the little slideshow. It's going to be to music. And, um. I hope you enjoyed that. Let's see, what else was it that I was going to say today? Anything else? I don't think so. The electronics. Oh, the electronics. Did I cover it? 
Well, yeah, I sort of did at the beginning. I kind of said, well, maybe it was in the I first one. The first oh, page. I forgot to tell you. I was having trouble with electronics, too. I don't know if you have trouble with your electronics, but I started on it, and then I had to delete that video because I didn't like the way it was going, so I deleted it. But anyways, the thing I had mentioned in that one was, I don't know if you have trouble with your electronics, where you, when you're looking for something, you just can't find it. Like, I was looking for my pictures when I worked at McDonald's. I would I would dress up as an elf, and we had a Santa Claus, and he was the real-looking Santa Claus. He had a book and everything that said um, who was naughty and who was nice, and if, if you told him your name, he would look it up to find out if you were on the naughty list or the nice list. It's funny, everybody was on the nice list. But he did have names on the naughty list, but none of the people were on the naughty list. And the kids asked him where his reindeers were, and he had a book that showed all of his reindeers. And he said that he had to park them at this parking lot because they didn't want them at McDonald's because he had to, it was too crowded here and it would have been too busy, and he parked them someplace else so that they could rest. And so he showed pictures of them. And did you know, this is what he said. Now, I don't know if it's true or not because I didn't Google, Google it. But he said that only the female reindeers have antlers. And I thought, wow, I didn't know that. But, and, um, let's see, what else did he say? I don't know. But he had his, his wife was there, and she was, and they really, he had real whiskers. And he had a real nice chair. I don't, I didn't put any of those pictures in, so you'll just have to take my word for it. And, um... Then, um, also when we had the Easter rabbit, we used to have Easter bunny used to come to McDonald's too, and I would dress up in my finest 1940s outfit. <laughs> I would wear gloves, and I would wear this really nice hat and this 1940s dress. It was adorable. I looked really cute. And um, I would hand out candy canes to those kids too that with the Easter Bunny. I used to hand out candy canes for everything, it's, I think. I had candy in that. No, what I did... I had candy, but it wasn't Wasn't candy, candy canes. canes. What did I have in there? I had something. I think hmm. you had Snickers or something like that. I don't know what I had. No, it wouldn't have, been, wouldn't have been anything with peanuts because of allergies yeah. for kids. It had to be something, and it had to be not where they could choke. Oh, it's so hard, you know, to give, to bring, to give kids anything because First, they might choke on it, and they might have allergies to it. So it was really difficult. So I have a feeling I gave out, might, might have given out candy canes or candy sticks of some sort. I don't know what I gave out, but I know there was candy in the basket of some sort. Or maybe there were Easter eggs. I don't know, with something in them. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been too many years now. So, did you did you have fun listening to me trying to figure out in my brain what <laughs> what I did? I don't remember what I did. My husband's smiling. I think we're done talking. I hope you enjoy the slideshow, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Take care, and we'll see you. Bye bye.